Hi, Assalamu alaikum. I'm Bahari Deep. I'm a student of the Quran program. My major is human research management. Uh, today, I will make my second video. Actually, this second video related to the first video. It was a reading passage. So, in this second video, I'm going to refer in my own uh, language. In the United States, the practice of the complementary and alternative medicine has uh, steadily increased for at least last 30 years. Some people use herbs, other people use yoga, homeopathy, massage therapy, or acupuncture to relieve symptom or to treat their disease. Based on the data show that 42% of Americans use complementary and alternative medicine starting from the young age to the older age. They already proceeded with the conventional treatment that is focused only on the pathology. They believe that complementary and alternative medicine better to relieve symptom or disease they suffer from. Many Americans interested to use complementary and alternative medicine due to many reasons. Some people believe because of the, their belief and value. Some people for relief symptoms or disease who cannot treat by conventional medicine or for safety and efficacy reason. Nowadays, physicians prescribe acupuncture for pain management or to control the nausea associated with complementary as well. And this treatment covered by health insurance. Because of increase the demand of the complementary and alternative medicine in America, many medical schools compile the complementary and alternative medicine in their curriculum.